to if you own an organization, a startup, or a business, you, and a business which you just started or which you plan to start, this is for you. So it's important to watch this video to the end. Okay, it's for the success of your your firm, your organization, or your startup. So we'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. how companies, organizations, firms, or startups are prone. But most of the time, most of them, they are the causes of this because they don't put certain things into consideration. Okay, so if a startup or a, and you're an organization, a company, and you are still using a website that is not encrypted, please, please and please, do well to encrypt your website. Okay, so it must have that part of sign. It shows that you have SSL, encryption enabled and it's safe for visitors so visitors can come to your site without your site being bugged or being uh, they cannot easily um, hack your site so your site needs to be encrypted so anything person being on your site any data any credit card information no matter what person being on your site it is always encrypted and safe okay so most organizations i've seen they use sites that are just hit http they, they just use such sites and such sites are not encrypted. Anything you are doing, anybody intercepting any traffic will be seeing everything in clear text. Start number one on this. Make sure you have an encrypted website. Don't use HTTP. If you are if you are doing that now, please and if you are an organization, better you can do that now. So the second one is looking for emailing setup or system. Okay, so you can't be an organization or a startup and then the, you are still using gmail.com to send mails to your clients or to your organization or i'm mean, sorry to your your members or your employees you can't be using gmail you can't be using a public domain because if if the thing is that most of these public domains they can be they can send fish emails things that you are prone to you, know, you you or the people you are sending these messages to are prone to spread phishing attacks okay so in the sense that if you are sending a, if you are using a gmail okay for example your, your notification is se cyber safe so se cyber safe won't, won't create an email that is se cyber safe at gmail.com it's not it's not smart to do so okay so if you are doing so it's better you get a hosted domain okay from where from your website then host an email to get an email that will be from your organization like se cyber safe or support at scyberseed.com okay just what don't use a public domain like gmail or your email for for your emails okay stop using that they are not safe you can easily create a gmail that will look like your organizations and then send fish emails to people and then i then they click on it i can i can fish them or the financial person can fish them and get information from them so use use your use better or safer hosting or email hosting platform stop using public domains like gmail those ones can be easily um, they can be spoofed so if dmark what they call dmark there's a feature called dmark in email if your own is not enabled please do well to enable it what it does is that it prevents someone from sending um, or the, um, any malicious content to another person so like malicious files won't, can't be sent from someone or from you from your system to another from like from employees okay for example i want to send a malware with a pdf malware i can't send it to another person because it won't go through because i have the mark enabled so make sure you have the mark enabled and make sure you're not using a public domain so the third one is that you must take data privacy seriously in your organization or your firm or if you are even about starting so you need to take data privacy very seriously you know the rules regarding data privacy no things they are not supposed to do no information they are not supposed to post online or the, so the information are not supposed to just leave no the things that are supposed to be confidential okay it's not all the data that are left are left online or some details about your employees are not supposed to be on your website you don't just put everything about someone's life on your website because it could be used to social engineer them so you need to be careful about that as an organization or a startup if you've been doing that this is from doing that okay put data privacy into, into consideration okay it's very important to do so the fourth one is lowest or no budget on getting security personnel so most of most organizations or or should i say firms or so once i say organization no i'm referring to startup or firms or people that have been existing organizations or any individuals that are running a business of their own 
So if you don't have, if you don't have the security personnel, maybe I'm thinking, okay, for example, even those abroad they do, they know that they are supposed to have. But for example, you are in Nigeria now, you are you start this, you you have a startup and you're like, I don't need to, I don't need security, but I don't need the security personnel. I'm just starting. I mean, who wants to? Hack me or who wants to get any info from me? I just started. Or you are like, I've been existing since I've been in big company for over eight years, nine years. I mean, and I've not had any issues. Why do I need security personnel? Why do I need people to check if this is good? Check if there's vulnerability, vulnerability in my web application, that's my website. Why do I need to check if this particular application is good? Why do I need to check if they are inside that church? Why do I need to um, maintain cyber security policies? Why do I need to rotate staff? Why do I need to? You need all those things that are really important. Even if you, it has not, nothing bad has happened, as time is going, 2020, cyber security threats have been increasing, vulnerabilities are still coming, so you can get hit anytime. So it's better to just, it's better safe than sorry. Okay, so do the right things and stop procrastinating. Get security personnel that could run a check on all your platforms, your web platforms, even your staff, make sure they are educated on these things. So get those people help you in your firm or your company don't just assume that you are okay it is it is the wrong thing to do so still on that the fourth one so you need to get your staff educated so that they don't click on the strange links in that they get in their emails especially the hrms or human resources those that might get emails for because i don't want to start going i don't start telling long stories so that this video is not long supposed to be a short video but but this hrm as it was at first after picking applications and stuff, then he got a particular mail, someone sent CV, sent some particular document, person clicked on it, opened it, the HRM opened it, and like that, like that, person clicked on the phishing mail, so, and the HR was hard, so you must teach them about the basic cyber security tips. I, mean, I don't mean you must not tell them everything, but are some things that they ought to know your employees need to be educated on so that they don't fall victim. So, so still on that, the fourth one, once the person has the organization gets hacked. And so that's why most organizations they go down because some some of them have their confidential data stolen one way or the other, either through hacking. You know, abroad in other countries, some of them some of them have been corrupted. This is not most of them. So, but I'm talking specifically about, especially in Nigeria, the owners of startups and organizations in other countries can as well put this into mind. But I know some most of them have done this. But if if you are an owner of a, if you are an owner of a business or a startup or you are planning to have one, please note this. You need the security personnel to and, and so you need the security personnel to help you um, create awareness to the other staff. So I'm not saying you must know you must know in depth of cyber security but that basics you must know. So the fastest way the organization could go down or go into the drain. That's like I'm sure you've seen so many organizations that are at first they were very big, they've been existing for years and all of a sudden they are no longer existing. They are down or they just they are just off and you're like what what happened so it's probably there was an insider threat someone that someone in the company that just entered and then gave information out or the, the company was hacked and some information was spilled and something like that so some companies threats in other companies some startups threats in other startups because they have information that if it is released to the public it will be a disaster so the, all those things you need to put them into consideration in where you are starting you want to you want to get a startup when you want to own a startup or if you already own an organization those things are really important everything i mentioned in this particular video so if you've not subscribed click on the subscribe button if you are new to this channel we always we always talk on cyber tech awareness tips online safety digital tips and also we, we give we have started a new series on tech ideas and innovation ideas so if you know that sounds good to you click on the subscribe button to get and also notification bell icon to get notified when we upload new content. So thank you. See you next time. Remember to stay safe.